going on everybody and welcome back to the channel uh, back here in Planet Zoo and we're back here in Willow Park Sanctuary and today is moving day so we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, Komodo dragons and the anteaters over here in their enclosures and get them a nice enclosure set up and everything and go from there uh, as you can see our uh, little viewing platforms are uh, done um, I thought about putting a uh, like a canopy type thing over top of them we may do that I'm not sure but uh, also, instead of getting the animals into their new enclosures, we'll also fill this with some foliage just to make it look nice. But uh, we'll go ahead and get them moved over now. Let's go ahead and check our uh, things here. And yeah, that. Yeah, and that's all popping up. So we'll go ahead and uh, get these guys moved over. So they go over here into the Komodo Dragon exhibit. And then we'll go ahead and get these guys moved over as well. All right, now we wait. So here we got the anteaters. We'll do the uh, Komodo dragons first. Uh, anteaters, I was thinking about giving them some tunnels to go through and stuff. So, say about here, putting some retaining walls. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to use concrete for that. So we'll get uh, this. And then we'll get it moved over into place. Probably go for the one instead. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the one meter uh, instead. There we go. Much better. And uh, we'll get this into place. Let's see about right there, I guess. We'll go ahead and pause while we do this. That way we can take care of the animals. If not, they'll start to... taller see about that and put it back next to the wall and there we go we got a little retaining walls just like that we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, trim on it of some sort Let's go somewhere that arctic wood, my favorite piece in the entire game, the arctic wood. All the way up to the top. And then we'll just copy this over. A smaller piece. And about right there. And then we will take a piece and put it on this side. Just like that. Now we got ourselves a retaining wall. I guess we could probably go ahead and put uh, one on the back here. Yeah, put one right here on the back. Like that. And now we got retaining walls. Like I said, nothing. Uh, Nothing special. We might be able to push some of this, uh... Put this back. There we 
we go. That's fine. And then we can put some rocks under there to make it look better. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and... Uh, we'll go ahead and push it a little farther in. There we go. Yeah, we'll put some rocks there and stuff to make it look nice. And then we'll just copy it over. About right there. Yeah, and we'll fill, like I said, we'll put some rocks there and stuff. And uh, we'll go ahead and bring them over to the other side as well. same with this and then we're done and got the retaining walls in just like that and I'll kind of just give it a little bit of detail I'll fill this in with rocks like I said and let's go ahead and do that now Just like that, seal the rest of it in, and then we'll put some smaller rocks in there and everything as well. They don't need to be over here, their habitat is plenty big for them to uh, go everywhere else. So. Here we go, and then we'll take this piece. Just like that. Same with over here. same over here we'll get this uh, situated plus we can also fill this area with some foliage as well more and more and more rocks that's what it's all about there we go probably not the best place for the viewing areas we should have put the uh, entrance to the exhibit somewhere else and there we got the retaining walls in probably gonna fill this with foliage and some more rocks and then put some trees and stuff in there uh, that'll give this area some shade anyway so yeah let's go ahead and uh, check these guys out and see what they need first uh, we will do some terrain work so what I'm gonna do to make it kind of easier is we're gonna go into the terrain put about 50 and we're gonna use roughing all right, and we're just gonna roughen the train up a little bit. All right, some hilly stuff, and then we'll go in here with the smooth tool. Smooth it all out. 
And instead of putting like uh, spending too much time on the train work and stuff like that, because we'll save that for some of our uh, bigger animals and bigger exhibits and stuff. But uh, this just gives them character. Is all it is. And maybe we can put some, uh, sneak some water in here somewhere, like there. Perfect. And there we go, and we'll do that. And I'm also thinking about lining the bottom of these with some rocks. Uh, again, these are things that y'all can tell me about in the comment sections if you think I should, uh... I tell you think I should do things and, and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and take one of our, uh little things here, our little uh, rock pallets, I guess you can call them. And we will put this about right there. Sink it all the way down to the ground. And that's what we're doing. So these Seems like maybe this is a little bit of a cheating, but I'm telling you, this is the best way to do some of this stuff. Just like that. We'll take um, this one, sink it all the way into the ground. like that let's get this one here do the same thing let's sink it all the way into the ground As these are Komodo dragons well you know it'll be a little bit of a uh, some little bit of a rocky areas and stuff so and then we'll take one more we're gonna go over here into this corner. Gonna get it into place here and bring it up. Let's go ahead and bring it out just a little bit. You know, and we'll fill that area with the foliage. We'll take some of these rocks. Start filling these edges up. Just like so. And then we'll take some of these other ones. Go ahead and sink these in. And as well. And this kind of gives it like a little bit of a base. And then maybe we can put a, uh, we'll see if they can climb on this. Let's go ahead and see. So not quite. I think it's probably these pieces. So we'll go ahead and delete that. And see about now so we can get them at least over to this area still nothing that right there and then we can take another rock See if they're actually, you know, we might be able to pull the train up a little bit. No, it's not going to work either. All right, let's check one more time. There we go. Now, I wonder if we can probably fit uh, one of their enrichment items up there. So let's try that. So, species, Komodo dragons. Go and find a place for their food bowl.
The food bowl right there. And we'll take another rock. All right, let's make sure they can get to it. Perfect. All right, so we'll take the habitats. Uh, probably going to need a water pipe. So we'll put that over here in this corner. And Richmond items. Let's find something we can place up at the top up here. Let's try this. Looks like they can reach it. Uh, we'll get a scented uh, pole thing here. Place that right there, and then let's get them some toys. Well, actually, first we need to check, make sure we get hit them all. So they need some more species food enrichment. We'll give them a blood pumpkin. Put it in a little alcove over here. There we go. So that is all set. They're good to go on that. So they're going to need some hard shelter. I was thinking about maybe just putting a... Uh... Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's see what kind of shelters we have. Uh, I want to build my own, but as of right now, uh, I feel like maybe we should just go ahead and lay one of these down. Hmm. We'll go ahead and build a shelter real quick is what we're going to do. So we'll go to uh, Shade. Let's go to uh, Line the Surface. Change these to white. I was going to bring it up. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, we're going to be just hitting all kinds of buttons. I swear. can't play the game today for some reason. Make sure we get this spot on. These guys would probably do better with a uh, with a not this quite type of shade I guess you could say probably better with like a rocky shade a uh, rocky cave or something like that but uh that there there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and take some uh A post and put it right here in the. Well, I guess not. All right, hold on a second. Actually, we'll use the. I like these better. So we'll use these square posts.
Maybe we'll put some ropes under there or something to make it seem like it's what's holding it up. Short piece. I'm going to go ahead and flip this one around. Yeah, and we'll get some ropes tied under it to make it seem like that's what's holding it up. This is probably not the best looking shade, but uh, I don't know guys, I mean what do you think? Do you think we should go ahead and build like a cave shelter or anything? Cause uh, hmm. I mean is this enough, this is enough room for them, right? Plenty of room. We'll just go ahead and build this and then y'all let me know if you think uh, it should be something different. Bring it up just a tad bit. Let's see what happens if we uh, start uh, rotating this around. Of course, I didn't do it right, so that's why it's not uh, adding up. Just in case anybody was wondering. in the place hmm all right we'll go ahead and use the centerpiece here as well maybe that'll help us get the uh it does not of course it doesn't Probably use two pieces of rope. So we got those in place. We'll go ahead and move this over and down. We will copy it over and move it over here. I feel like this is not going well, but uh. That's fair. I guess what we could do, we'll try this and see if it works. Just to move it over like that. And about the center. And you can still see the ropes. One there, and then put one right there. Fix the cross fighting. See what I should have done again is uh made sure that this was gonna work properly when it comes to uh, rotational symmetry and all that stuff. That's all right. We'll figure it out. We'll get it done. Just make it more difficult on myself, really. See about right there. 
Then we'll go ahead and grab these two pieces as well, and then we'll start rotating even though it's not in its right place. But uh, there we go, and then rotate it again. Rope should be easier since they, well, actually they don't have a central point, but we'll, we'll rotate them over, make it easier on ourselves. There we go. I'm not worried about it being perfect or anything. Let's go and start deleting some of these. There we go. Grab these, copy them. As you can see, it's not in the rotation, it's not in the point of rotation or center rotation, so. Get it in place and then we'll copy it over. First, we're going to make sure it's just right there. And then bring it over to there. And then now it should be in the center. Still might need to uh, do a little bit of finagling to make sure it all fits into place. No, well, that worked out just fine. And then once more, make sure they're in the center. There we go. I guess it's not too bad. I'm going to grab one of these bad boys. Bring it up. Go in twice. Reset the thing. Matter of fact, we'll, uh, we'll do it this way first. down this is not something that everyone likes uh, after they watch the video then we can definitely uh, you know make some changes I'm gonna go up until it disappears into this I'm gonna go just like that then I'll give it a little bit of a uh, support Switch it all the way around, just like that. About right, and then we'll take them both and start rotating. Sure the wrong place. Like I said, I'm not looking for perfection here. It's wrong way. What in the world? That's weird. There we go. I'm not too worried about that crossbow. I think that's about it. And we'll move it over and we'll put a couple of them in here. So we'll put one. Right here in the rocks. Just like that. And then we will put another one. Hmm. Right 
right there. Now let's see what happens when we check. Park shelter is 100%. So now we can take some uh, bedding. And we'll throw some bedding down. We'll get the uh, small pieces. Actually, we'll go with medium. And then we'll take another rock. So we can just level this stuff out here. There we go. And once again, take some more and put it over here under this. There we go. All right, now we got some uh, shades. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the... Uh, what do we got here? Education multiple. Okay, well that's all that stuff. We'll do that in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and get some uh, some foliage in. Now, I'm not gonna worry about the coverage too much. What are these from? Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that stuff because that's the planters there. See, the planters are lighting up, so we're not gonna do that. So, but we got Asia, tropical grassland. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip the tropical part, maybe. So we're gonna go to continent, Asia, and then we'll go to grassland and see what we got. Not a whole lot, but we do got some weeping willows. And if you ask me, that is a plus. One there. Put one there. So two weeping willows. Let's see what other kind of trees we got. I don't want to put no boa babs in. Oh. We're we'll gonna put some reeds in though. Let's get a smaller one. There we go. And then we will do the We will get to work on the uh, terrain painting and everything in just a second. Let's get one big one and put it there. There. Fill that area up to kind of close it off. Put some of this here. And let's get some, uh, some more of this. Right there, right there, All right, and we can probably use the Boabab as some ground coverage as well, so we can probably put some of it like this. Put some there. Some right there. And then, so yeah, this could be a good ground coverage. Especially uh, filling this stuff up over here. So as our coverage definitely go up. We're going to have to add tropical to this. There's just not enough. Uh, we need some more. Some more plants. Maybe we can find something that's uh, not so tropical. You know, like this right here. There we go. Uh, let's get another one. Big tree. 
we'll put uh, we'll put this bad boy right here. Let's go ahead and rotate it because we gotta. There we go. So let's find something that'll give us some more ground coverage as well. I know that uh, these are some of my favorites to use for ground coverage. Said, uh, these first couple habitats we're going to do, they're not going to be like spectacular habitats because I want to save those for some bigger stuff. I mean, when you come to the zoo, you get some good looking habitats, but oh, we forgot about the uh, water pipe here, so we'll do that. Let's find something to put in the back back here. We can use some of this uh, good stuff here. Kind of use it for bushes and and what have you. This shouldn't affect their uh, ability to like move around the habitat too much. So, and let's take a few more things. So, let's get some. Uh, hmm. Get some of these guys. I think these are supposed to be. Something that you put at the uh, bottom of the at the pond, but I think it works just fine there. And we'll take a little bit of tropical plants, sort of like uh, like these guys here, and place them around. like that and then we need one more thing and I would like to uh, let's go ahead and add some of these guys these are cool all right let's go ahead and add a little bit more ground coverage let's find something uh, interesting to use we'll use some more of these custard apple trees here I'm pretty sure they can walk through this stuff. Now, I feel like we're coming somewhere. I mean, like I said, this is nothing extremely spectacular. But let's go and get some uh, some ground uh, painting done. Where are they at? There's one right there. All right. So they need the most is sand. That won't be a problem at all. So let's go ahead and get some sand in. Definitely get the uh, edges of the uh, water here covered in some sand. Uh, let's get some rock on the bottom. Same with this area right here. All right, and then you want, uh, they got enough grass and everything, so we're going to go ahead and keep up with the sand here. Cover the whole thing in sand. And then they need some soil. So we'll get some soil over here.
Actually, they got too much soil. My bad. But they would like some long grass. Let's go ahead and get some long grass in. Make this place I'll have a little bit of a green in it. They have too much soil and they need more sand and rock. So let's go ahead and get the rock in. Cover all this area up. And then we'll mix a little bit of the uh, other rock in there as well. Alright, no more soil. Still need some more rock. Let's go ahead and mix the other rock in there as well. And more sand. Say just a little bit more there we go perfect there we go and see there can they still get to this all right let me click on it oh it's part of the uh, stupid thing there we go all right I say that's the Komodo dragon habitat Now we have our anteaters to deal with. I hope uh, everyone likes it. It's not like I said, it's nothing crazy and nothing too special or anything. But uh, you know, we'll get some more foliage and stuff or uh, animals in in the future. And with those animals, we'll be uh, more, you know. So we'll go ahead and get these changed out to none. Actually, we can go ahead and delete these. No longer needed. We'll be redoing this whole area. That takes care of all those. Also, go ahead and get rid of everything inside here, just real quick. That way, when it comes down to it, we don't have to worry about doing this again. So I don't bore you with it. But we'll go ahead and uh, get all this taken care of. We'll get the uh, anteaters happy. And then we'll call it an episode. So I would like to... Create some... Uh, some little tunnels out of logs and stuff for them to use thing we have to worry about is uh, their traversable area. we got to make sure they can actually get in there and use it. So I'm going to use these little pieces here. And bring it up. See about that wide. I'm going to group them together. Go ahead and put them on their side so it's easier. And let's try it out and see what happens. Should be big enough and we'll go ahead and they're not going to meet in the middle uh, they're not going to meet and it's not going to be a perfect circle but the point is is we only want half of it anyway we're going to go back a little bit i want to do it uh the right way so
And one more time should be enough. There we go. Let's go ahead and take it all. Put it about right there. And that'll be their tunnel. Bring it out. So we'll put the tunnel in the back here. So let's go ahead and take the Rain tool, we're going to pull the train up. There we go. Do four. Flatten the foundation. All right, and then this is going to be their little cave system here. Let's go ahead and move them. There we go. And then we're going to go and take the train again. We'll move this down to two. And there we go, just like that. And that'll be like a little tunnel area they go through. Bring them out. And we're going to cover the top of with rocks. So they're going to have a pretty decent sized uh, area over here. Now I do want to take these and smooth them out. You know, we're going to take rocks and uh, that's how we're going to cover all this stuff up. So, nope, don't want that one. All right. Right, let's go and get this fixed back into place. Like this. and get these back into place here I 
I don't mind if that rock sticks out a little bit, but first we got to check to make sure they can actually, uh, no. Let's try again. All right, so they can get in there now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these rocks again. And we're going to start uh, building a little bit of an area for them. Or actually, I just want to kind of close off this stuff here. We'll just cover this with a bunch of foliage because there's no need for them to be up there. Let's go ahead and get the train tool out. We're going to cover this with rock. Give it a little bit of a, a better look to it instead of just this plain old sand. It's a little bit of a, a big cave area, probably more than what they need, but that'll be all right. It's all about making the animals happy. I mean, we are a, a sanctuary, so that's the most important thing. And then we'll take some of uh, the light rock and cover the ground in it. Areas two. There we go. They should still have plenty of room. Looks like they need a lot of grass. Let's try that again. Well, get some grass in here. I see they need a lot of short grass, but they can have a lot of long grass. We'll go ahead and do the short grass first. You know, so they're pretty much happy with the way their uh, ground coverage works, but like I said, we're going to go ahead and uh, get some foliage. I feel like the foliage would be best up here. We'll probably put some uh, long grass up here at the top. Let's go ahead and get some more uh, uh, rock areas, rocky areas up here. like a sign up there or something but we'll cover it in foliage to make sure that they still have plenty of room down there they do we'll go ahead and get their uh, bedding in just like so and now let's use our terrain Cool. Keep it on the. We'll keep it on the long grass. 
And like I said before, we'll take the roughing tool, put it on about 50, on five, and we'll roughen this bad boy up. Smooth it out. There we go. Now I want to take one of these, and like we did with the same over there. Let's put some of these rock area, uh, rocky areas around. it around same with over here we want to cover this up that seems about fair and then we'll take this one make sure you can't see it Start covering this stuff up as well. And there we go. Alright, let's go and get some of their habitat areas in. We'll leave uh, less rocks in this one. So we'll go ahead and uh, reset and we'll find the giant anteater and get their stuff in. Then we will put the uh, foliage. bowl there smooth out the train so the animals can get to it and we'll take the so they're gonna need what we'll put the water pipe in matter of fact I'm gonna put it inside the cave so that way we don't have to look at it So let's get some of the enrichment in. So food, we'll put the uh, little box here. Put that right there. And we'll have a little uh, termite mound. That right there. That should be good with the species food enrichments. Get them some toys. We'll get them a scratching post. should be about all they need let's go ahead and take place some more rocks around different places we'll go ahead and put this one right there uh, and just a few more places I, I think that uh, will be good on that I like that one very much. We'll put this one. Just like that. Alright. Then we'll do one more. Take the terrain smooth tool just one more time. Make sure we smooth it out. All right, and I 
We'll get some logs around this. We're going to use the logs that are found in the... If I can. I don't know if there's you know, small enough. Yeah, we can make this work. definitely look more natural so man that is annoying now I think it's no big deal if they cross over just like that a little bit bring this over and one more two more actually and we'll put this one in its place and there we go pretty good actually Can they reach this? Looks like they can reach it, so. Alright, what do these guys want for foliage? South Central America. Tropical grasslands. Let's see what we got. I like the idea of putting some of these guys in, but they're a little big. Uh, I do like the idea of putting this stuff in as well. I'm not sure why, but I do. Okay, we'll go ahead and start with some, uh, our good old friend. Common reeds. Put some of these little mangroves in here. These are pretty cool. And let's find some trees. These are one of my favorite plants right here. We'll definitely put some of these plants up here. It'll kind of hide this area a little bit better. Got those giant kapok trees, but those are just uh, too big. What about a giant tree like this? This would actually be perfect up at the top here. Gives us some background there, something to look at in the in the back. What about this log? I want it to be where they can. We're gonna go ahead and flip it around.
There we go, that's pretty cool. We go got some of these tropical trees here. Come together a little bit. So we're gonna need to make us some ground foliage. I'm gonna use some of this stuff here. No, it's too big. I need to find something that will. Hmm. cover this up with some foliage here so probably be best to put some kind of tree there as well I would think uh, there we go definitely get trees in the background some ground foliage uh, and what I mean by that is we're gonna make like a little bit of a uh, I guess you call it like a pallet so exit and we're gonna make sure that we can get them all flat on the ground and just pick a bunch of different flowers not that one it's too uh, too bright for me Get that one in there. Maybe one of these, or a few of these anyway. Uh, put these in by itself. to actually keep the aligned the surface on that way as you're placing these pieces of foliage they kind of go with the, the way the, the ground is this little tropical area over here so what we do is we need to find something that's uh, a little bit like grass so maybe this guy and then we just grab them all and move it over And like I said, this is a great way to cover some ground. The animals should be able to walk through it. I'm 
to cover all this mess up up here anyway. There we go. Now let's go ahead and one last thing before we might add a little bit of extra foliage in is let's go ahead and check the terrain. So we need more short grass. So we'll put uh, short grass here in these spots. Now they could use a little bit more soil. So what we'll do is we'll some rock a little bit of sand we we'll use some coarse sand this time and then that kind of going out and then more short grass there we go now take a couple more of these start dotting them around Fair to say that that looks pretty good. Now let's uh, look at some more trees. Well, actually, no, I think we're good for the trees, but uh, yeah. I actually like this habitat much better than I do this one. Now, one last thing I want to do is someone mentioned to add moss, but I don't really know. Let's see what we can find in that in that regard. So we'll do moss. And we'll try out to see when tell me what everybody thinks. I don't know, maybe ivy might actually be better. We can definitely take some ivy. do it that way just a little bit of ivy so we'll go ahead and well actually I'm gonna end it right there folks uh, I'll go ahead and put the ivy on the other side and uh, we'll do it that way and then yeah it's pretty much uh, that's pretty much the two habitats the uh, animals are been officially moved let's go ahead and bleep this stuff real quick and it is officially time to be starting to to work on these front habitats and as of right now the plan is to have the tortoises both species of tortoises one on each side so that's probably how we're gonna uh we're gonna do that we're gonna leave that there but yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish up deleting this stuff Go ahead and get the ivy on the other side, and in the next episode, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we're probably going to finish off this little plaza area right here, and uh, finish up everything back here, since more and more guests are coming this way, and once we get all this done in that episode, we will finish up uh, clearing all this area out, and we're going to start putting the tortoises in, building their nice little habitats, and uh, go from there. I hope everybody has enjoyed this so far uh please let me know with any uh questions comments concerns uh down in the comments section leave a like and if you haven't already 
consider subscribing. It'll really help me out. But until next time, take care, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Oh.